So hi everybody, Craig Hanson, welcome to my video. We're looking at driving the ball better, hitting more fairways, and picking up your speed a little bit here. And we're gonna be looking at how we create a very good stretch and pivot in your downswing. Guys, I can guarantee if you get your backswing working correctly, if you get yourself tilting to the top correctly, not just turning to the top, tilting to the top, you're gonna to see some amazing things in your downswing, a chain reaction. Things are just gonna slot back down so much easier. And what we're gonna be looking at here, so that we can grip the ground more effectively and create a bit of energy here, it's gonna help pick up your speed. But by getting yourself to pivot correctly, you're gonna be looking at what the hips do and how we can work the lead hip down, get this right hip up, and that's gonna get your shoulders down and in the right spot. And from here, people, once you start to hit the right numbers with your shoulder planes and your hip planes, there's a massively high percentage of the downswing being in a very, very good position. Okay, now what we're talking about, what we're looking at is, is really to create a stretch. We're looking at getting this left hip to move downwards. And we're looking at extending, extending this right side and getting some, a little bit of symmetrical knee work. So you're looking at getting your right leg to slightly draw back and extend up. Okay, now this is gonna get your right shoulder up, it gets your left shoulder down, gets things down and away from your face, rather than these type of swings where we're moving to the right side and the left side, and we can't shoot a cannon from a canoe. Right, we really need to get in there and learn how to grip the ground effectively and use our body and pivot effectively. And then I'm gonna give you a bit of a feel through the downswing. We can't have 33 thoughts, of course. Yet when you play golf, you need the dominating thought to be the golf ball. A lot of people say that it's, the game's all feel, but it's not because we're not really, a lot of us out there, we're not really feeling anything at all. So we can use some mechanics. We can use some technique to feel, uh, to create some feel, I should say, later on. Okay, get yourself in some proven corridors of how the body moves and turns. It's all been tested these days. We know there's certain positions and corridors through biomechanics. Get ourselves in some of these positions and we're gonna hit some great shots. But obviously when we're playing golf, the dominating thought is the ball and where we'd like it to go. And the swing thought works in the background, all right? But as we're practicing on the range, you can get in there and do lots of different drills and exercises. So what we're looking at doing is really getting this left hip to work down and this right side to work up. And as we're tilting and turning to the top, it's gonna to keep your head very close to being centered. It might have a touch of movement on the way back, that's fine, but we're not gonna be rocking over with a high left shoulder and a high left hip, and then a high right hip and a high right shoulder, like most of the golfers are doing around the world. What we're gonna be looking at doing is when we get this nice stretch up to the top of your swing, and you're moving yourself across, we know there's about between four to six inches of lead hip lateral movement. And then the left shoulder starts to work in the opposite direction. It starts to work itself back up. This starts to work down. We start to stretch in this position and we get ourselves up in a nice position where we're stretched. We've got a curve in the small of the back and hopefully we're standing in a nice finished position. Okay, so how do you practice pivoting correctly? Lots of drills feeling like this lead hip is actually moving downwards. Just pivoting up with this right side and keeping this shoulder down and away from your mouth. Okay, and then that's gonna work up in the other direction. So we'll get in there. Take your address position. Left side pivoting down, that lead shoulder, that lead hip moving downwards. And when you're up into your finished position, there's a bit of a stretch here, and we've got a small, a curve in the small of your back, and you can see that the chest is pointing upwards. And with your driver, guys, in the latter part of your swing, to create that separation, it's really a good thing that the head moves back just a little bit in the latter part of your swing. So you're, you're getting a bit of a stretch here. It's like a slingshot effect. And if you're using your track mans, your flight scopes, those type of things, you can really see the speed pick up here. Rather than having high left shoulder, high left hip, people are always coming back in this way. Spend a little bit more time looking at some of the great moves uh, in the swings. This is what we're showing you on world-class golf instruction. There's a, we've got so many videos, people are absolutely loving this platform. Rather than having you know, videos all over the place on YouTube, one saying this and one saying that. We're really getting in there and showing you guys 
the pure facts of the game, uh, slow motion clips, and, and really giving you guys a chance to get in there and learn how to film your swings uh, with your mobile phone. Some great information, guys. Now let's have a little bit of a closer look at how driver pivot looks with some of the best driver or the best golfers in the world. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. And join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. So hi everyone, now let's have a look at the evidence-based material. I've got an absolute remarkable video here of Jason Day and Rory McIlroy uh, overlapping each other. And I'll take you through this and we'll have a look at some of the similarities of these great, great drivers of the golf ball. And to drive a golf ball straight, you know, there's four or five things that we all need to do. And we need to really get in there and say, okay, where are these great players? And the closer I get to these averages of movement, the closer I get to these proven positions, the better I'm going to hit it. Right, now, if you've got absolutely no skill level and no feel, uh, if, you're, if you're perhaps not the most flexible person, at least resembling some of this type of, of emotion or a swing or understanding it's going to get you on the right track. And this is why I put together a world-class golf instruction to really show people, you know, the, the facts of what's happening. I'm not standing in front of a camera and just saying, oh, this is what you should do. Well, how much? You know, and how could I measure it myself? And you can measure that with your mobile phones, right? and drawing your lines on right let's get in there i'll just take you through some of the major moves because it really is quite incredible when you're looking at you know great players and you know we've almost got like a blueprint haven't we it's almost like well if i get closer i get the better i hit now let's have a look at this because there's been quite a bit said you know the last year or so by you know a couple of coaches out there that there's no lateral movement in the swing and they're you know influencing many many people which is and it's absolutely appalling information so what i'll do you know, we know that the hips are up between 30 to 45 degrees, and with players with shut club faces, you know, they're getting up to 60 to 70 degrees open and all that sort of thing. You know, but let's have a look at this move from the top of the swing. All right, now I'll just, what I'll do is we'll move into impact and check out this. So in the video, we'll see the head actually move back in the other direction. So watch this. All right, so the head's gone back, lead hips gone forwards. Okay, now when you're looking at swing geometry, and so if I get into impact and I'm filming my swing, what do I need to look at? Well, well you've got to line up the side of the ankle, but if, there's other things, and this is something that you know, people need to take you through. Now, if I, if I get a line here, all right, and I draw it down the right tricep, all right, and at impact, now how many great drivers of the golf ball are there? Do you know? I do. Lots. Right? So that's about six or eight inches outside the, the, the lead foot. And that's getting your upper body in position. Now, if you get your upper body in there, the right arm comes in underneath. It shadows the plane. It helps us hit a little bit more on the way up. But it just gets things moving in the right direction. But you can see the head moving backwards. And so there's no lateral movement. You're right, eh? I mean, it's proven that there's four to six inches. All right? And the head's moving back. So just by doing practice swings from there, you might pick yourself up a sensation and a feel. I mean, obviously, you can't think about you know, 23 things at once, but this is what, on World Class Golf, we've got a, a series called Build Your Swing. It takes you through a bit piece by piece. The, the, the series, though, that really is, is just going off is, is Deep to Shallow, but because Deep to Shallow is a, a bit of a new swing style. It helps people come down on a much lower plane. So a little bit mistaken is this, this you know, I, I think it's a little very underrated is this the finish position. By, by just getting yourself into a finish position and standing there and holding onto it, where you feel like your upper body's got a bit of side bend, you know, and it's all, almost a bit of a stretch for a lot of you guys out there that perhaps aren't that flexible. I'll just take you through, just bear, bear with me, just for this last bit. And thanks to Michael Field for the use of your videos, Michael. They're always fantastic, especially those ones you just sent me. Now, I'll pop up a couple of lines here and we'll have a look. Now we've got, I'll get that one off and I'll get it in the right color. And, uh, Adam Scott here. Now, what a what a golf swing! All right, I'll draw draw up a line here uh, from this lead. We've got 81 degrees. McElroy will get a line up here and uh, get it up nice and straight if I can. Get this one up here. It should be about the same. 81 degrees, and we'll pop up a line on the head here and watch this guy. So when you get up at the top of the swing, you're really seeing this right leg, they almost move it back just slightly laterally there as they load up on it, but the head's staying very, very centered. McElroy, 
I'm going to Adam Scott now at the top of the swing. And just up the top of the swing here, when we over, overlap these two swings, have a look at that. Same thing. Guys, yeah, I mean, it makes sense to really, you know, work on a, have a bit of a plan with your golf and, and you know, get yourself understanding the golf swing. Have a look at those upper bodies once again here. We're seeing that, uh, the line here, a little bit further into the downswing. You can really get in there and, and mimic and copy and steal some of these positions from players that do it better than us, or getting closer to them. Um, get you on the path to reaching your potential. Guys, if you're after online lessons, check out craighansengolf.com. Uh, you can send stuff through to me. I've got contact on WhatsApp there. Uh, or if you're after world-class golf, worldclassgolf.com. Uh, jump on the site. Uh, yeah, you, you can cancel any time. And uh, it's a great place to be. Join the community. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.